Hey folks, I'm Trivian Glory, and welcome to a brand new game, Solasta, Crown of the Magister. It's a, a brand new release by Tactical Adventures, available on Steam, and it's uh, early access, but it's very polished already. Uh, so I've been playing a bit of this and some Baldur's Gate 3, and I have to say, for, at the moment I'm enjoying Solasta, the better of the two. Uh, it's a, an RPG, and they've done a good job of making it actually feel like a tabletop RPG. I can't quite put my finger on why, but anyway, I'm enjoying it, so I'm going to jump in. So I've created our own party of adventurers, uh, and I've not done anything at all in the campaign yet. So in the early access version of the game, there's a single campaign. I think it's supposed to be about 10 hours worth of gameplay. Uh, so, just having a first run through. The game is based on the official D&D uh, &D rules. Uh, they've got license from Wizards of the Coast to use the system. And it looks nice. And it feels quite nice as well. So the only issue I've got with the camera at the moment is I like it to be like a first person, uh, so I want to be able to tilt it up so that I can see this person over here, but I can't. Never mind, it's not meant to be played as a first person, I suppose. So our party, we've got uh, an elf, Elrond, the friendly. I did try and uh, model the character on Elrond as much as I could. In fact, let's uh, have a look at the characters before we dive in. Uh, so. Yeah, Elrond is a paladin, an elven paladin, uh, and if you look through, you start off choosing your character's ancestry, so high elf or half elf, human, dwarf, two different types of dwarf, marsh halfling, um, class, it's a paladin, and it's all the usual classes as you'd expect, and you also give them a background from a choice of eight, I think. And we've gone for the Philosopher. Uh, your stats are the typical D&D stats, and there's different ways of uh, assigning stats. You can get the basic six die roll or points to spend or what have you. You choose a couple of personality types based on your background and also based on your alignment. Do we have the alignment showing anywhere here? Don't see it. No, I just said do. Personality, philosopher, and lawful good. Uh, and then you've got your proficiencies. Uh, you choose skills and assign a couple of points, two or three points, I think, depending on your uh, your ancestry, your race. And you also can use some tools, your weapon types, and the languages spoken. Um, I haven't actually checked out the crafting. So herbalism is the only one that you can craft at the moment, and I didn't think Elrond was much of a magic user, so I've chosen True Strike, uh, because that's not going to be an obvious spell, that's more about helping us in combat. And if we look at the other characters, we've got Kami Ulfborn, a half-elf rogue, and uh, the background is a low life. The other option was... Uh, well, you can choose any option, but the obvious one for a rogue would have been Spy. Um, but I wanted to be the, the burglar type. And again, proficiencies and all the usual things. We have Gilda Redstone, a Hell Dwarf, a cleric. Uh, actually, a yeah, chaotic neutral is Kami. No proficiencies. Uh, Gilda, lawful good, a cleric, uh, she's a philosopher, and she's a sub-branch of her uh, religion, she went for the law. The spells we've gone for, uh, obviously cure wounds and shield of faith, uh, but we've also chosen some that uh, help out in combat and the same sort of thing with the cantrips so 
which is good insight and medicine. So Gilda's probably going to be a person that does most of the interacting. Elrond's good as well. Uh, so I think when we're talking to other characters, it's probably going to be Gilda or Elrond, if I can remember to do that. And if we need to intimidate or persuade somebody, then we switch to Kami. Just because the other two have got the better insight. Uh, so that's Gilda. And finally, we've got Geneth Longbridge, who's a wizard. Uh, he's an academic background, a human, uh, good arcana nature, etc. And the spells, yeah, pretty uh, standard for a first level wizard. Where would you be without sleep and magic missile? So that's our characters. He's lawful neutral. Uh, lawful neutral, lawful good. So two lawful good and a chaotic neutral. Okay, that's the party. To move the map, it's just WASD and Q and E to rotate, or you can uh, middle mouse button click and drag the map. To move, you just left click where you want to go. Let's have everyone follow up. Uh, so as I said, let's have Gilda speak to Annie first of all. We'll talk after you're swearing in. Uh, okay, don't talk just now then. So we've uh, the story is that we've just uh, have we been hired or we're about to be hired to complete a mission. So we've got our scavengers headquarters, uh, magic and curiosities. I guess these are all different types of vendors of supplies. But let's uh, have a look around then. I've noticed a chest. We can't interact with it. Okay, so I thought everyone in the party was going to be heading up here. So something I want to check out actually, when I played the, the demo of this, I think it must have been long, maybe six months ago or maybe longer, yeah, before the before COVID. Um, yeah, I played the, the demo and one thing that I would have liked was the ability to, so say we take Kami as a rogue and if we had Kami a few yards ahead of the rest of the party to be able to have them advance in that sort of formation so that Kami was always ahead spotting traps but now it's still the same and uh, you've got your basic formation there so anyway let's have a look up here see what we can find we have to meet Karen at the Legacy Council and actually thinking about it this will be the Legacy Council right here. So let's... Oh, there's something I think we could have a look at. No, I thought that might have been something we could interact with. A chaplain, and I guess nobody's going to speak to us until we've been sworn in. <laughs> there's a real height difference obviously here. Um, that is something that the game makes quite good use of from what I've seen so far, the different uh, levels um, and terrain in the buildings. Where are we going? We're going up in this sort of direction. There he is. Lord Karen. Nice gardens. Uh, and I never thought I'd get so close to the embassy. We'll have Gilda. Oh, well, we don't need to have Gilda speak to him. Look at the size of this council hall. So this is what they spend our taxes on. Look, is that the princess? Wait, is she leaving? Apparently so. Then who will administer the oath? Okay, then you select, as I said, showed earlier, uh, you select a couple of personality traits as your um, background and your alignment. 
And then I think that influences the types of responses you get, the interactions you get with NPCs. Uh, Elrond, he seems to he seems to have a bit of a thing for the princess. There's an oath keeper for that, I think. You thought it would be the princess. Guild is a spokesperson. If she rules the whole principality, who's more important? Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Karen. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keen, oath keeper of the council. Pipe down. And I will be administering your vows. Who is she speaking in, to? You will carry the authority of the council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the council's reputation. Remember that, always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you, each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I swear. I swear. Excellent. Lord Karen will enter your name into the council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait, that's it. I was just going to say that was quite short. Um, Cami, you're a bit. Hoping for a kiss from the princess. That's bit. No, no, I don't know. It just feels a bit anticlimactic. Sorry to disappoint. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know, the council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the principality and the marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The council wants a first-hand report. Okay, um, you can ask, each of the, the people can ask a question until you click on the, the sort of we're good to go type answer. So let's Wait. find out a bit more. These marches, they're not in the Badlands, are they? The marches are a no man's land between the civilized world and the Badlands. It's outside the chain of mountains that really define the Badlands. We wouldn't send you in there yet. A whole garrison gone? There are only four of us. Just find out what happened. Run back if you get scared. Got it. Though we were hoping for a first mission with more riches than risk, if you catch my drift. You don't get to choose your mission, I'm afraid. So gather what you need and go. Time is of the essence. I was trying to think of the character backgrounds there. I'm pretty sure Kami was cautious by nature, which would explain that it's dangerous type of response. What can you tell us about this Captain Henrik? A fine officer, more than 15 years in the Principality's army. He inspires trust, loyalty and courage, hence the decision to post him there facing danger. Okay. Right, I guess that's that. It's on to care Lem. So, relation improved, objective complete, new objective, and we can level up. So if you check up here, you can go back and you can read the um, conversations if you want, if you've missed something or want to be reminded of something. Uh, relationship increased with the Principality of Mazgarth, the request updated. You have enough experience to level up. To do so, you must take a long rest. Head back to the Gravekeep's cask and speak to Karel, the owner. Uh, okay, fast, ma uh, fast travel is available. So, uh, when you start the game and start a new adventure, you choose your characters and then it takes you into a tutorial. And the tutorial set with the four of them in a tavern, as you'd expect. Uh, and they each tell a story of how they got there. Um, so we have to head back for the tavern where we started from. But I want to have a bit of a look around, see who's, our, who's here. I 
let's have the whole, make sure it's a whole party. I want everyone head over here and then we'll have Gilda do the chat. There's and again, because of her good insight no, score. Smile on you. Lady of Light, a follower of the goddess. We do require hmm. your services. All right, okay, so he's a vendor as well. All oh, right, okay, so we could only select these two. Right, so 44 gold for a healing remedy. I think we might have something like 100 gold between us. That's personal wealth. So, okay, he's just a, a merchant after all. And these guys will just be guards. Who's this? Antiquarian's contact. He might be source of more missions and again so this doesn't seem to default to group move need to remember that when we're out in the wild clear skies my friends okay we can't get in there just now so, I, is there anything else I want to have a look at here? Probably not. Chaplain, I'd imagine he's is pretty much the same. Priestess, let's come over here. Talk to the captain. Stay in the light, citizens. Okay, thank you for that. It's just guards, I think. Should we talk to the mayor? Why not? Come back later. <laughs> I do apologize. So I guess we can't really do anything then until we've leveled up. We can always come and check, chat to the general store keeper. Come back later. I'm busy with the accounts. <laughs> Nobody wants to speak to us. This is back to where we started. And we didn't come along here, nothing to see anyway, really. Okay, so is this actually is it the inn? I think it is. to see yeah that, that, that's the very table we were sat at as well so if to talk to Karel Martel I think we have to talk to Karel yes it's got an exclamation mark so let's go and do that hello adventurers what can I offer you he looks familiar uh, do you want to know about tell yeah us tell us about this time, place yeah? It's not that old, but somehow it feels like it's been here forever. Well, you can meet all kinds of people here, that's the good thing. An old scavenger, a diplomat from the council, a knight, a lord, a beggar. We also have rooms to rent by the night. Why the name Gravekeep's Cask? Well, it's very old from imperial times. Perhaps a historian would know, but I don't. Uh, Kami doesn't approve of the beer. 
It tastes like donkey piss, apparently, if you watch the tutorial. Uh, so Would let's like get to Gilda to ask for sure. a room. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. A suite? Oh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. <laughs> but you know, this is the capital city. Okay, I was expecting to actually walk up to the room, check it out first before we hit our long rest, but we've already done that, so when you... Uh, some uh, places out in the wild you'll see like a campfire, you click on the campfire to open up the long rest screen, uh, and then you have to actually actively click on start long rest. Uh, once you've completed your long rest, that's when you can prepare your spells and level up. So... Now a level 2 Paladin. Mm -hmm. So, choose a fighting style. Okay, I'll check that out later, rather than waste point time just now. 8 hit points isn't too bad. And... Should I go for the greatest weapon style? No, I think we would go for protection. I don't think I want to have a two-handed weapon. No, we'll go with protection. Okay, that'll do for you, and you can now prepare a spells. So we've got Cure Wounds, Detect Evil and Good. Yeah, that's fine. Let's validate that. Cammy, you get nine hit points, that's excellent. Let's just move on. Nine hit points again. And prepare spells. Yeah, I think we just stick with the spells that we've chosen. Healing Word, Cure Wounds, Shield of Faith, and then we've got Pain. Yeah, we'll stick with that. I don't think I was I was thinking about detect evil and good, but I don't think we'll need that in the short term, so we'll leave that. And Geneth. Six hit points, that's not bad for a wizard either. And an arcane tradition. Now, I was thinking the shock arcanist. Yeah. Magic is focused on gathering all possible knowledge. I think we'll have this. Count is being cast at one slot level higher than the one you actually use. Okay. And we can select two new spells. Don't, I can't detect magic with that already. I do like Fog Cloud, I've got fond memories of Fog Cloud. Mm. Yeah, False Life.
Right. So that's us completed a long rest, close this and we can then move on. New objective, buy some food for the journey and visit Hugo Requers magic shop. Okay. So at least it's four single beds. I wondered what they were going to get when they talked about a suite and then a large bedroom. Let's come down, let's go and talk to the drunk. And again, only one person's on the move. Gilda, are you going to talk to the drunk? Go get killed in the Badlands. Lovely, right. Buy some food. So where was the general stores? Is it here? Doesn't look like it. And there she is there. Hope she's finished her accounts by now. Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. What do you have okay, to say? Okay, what do you say? Everything you'll need for going out there into the Badlands. Food, ropes, torches, and of course, armor and weapons. I also have some other stock like remedies and antitoxins. That can come in handy. Ever heard of deep spiders? Are you Gorin? That's me, the one and only. Insightful question. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so Elrin's got f 15 gold and we're looking for rations. Now I think, does everybody have to buy one? Let's... No, it doesn't make sense. No, we can do it this way. Everybody buys one. You get 13 gold, you get 25. Okay. Oh, do you have to do it one at a time? I guess so. Okay, conclude. You buy one. Conclude. I don't know, I could maybe have bought four that way and distributed them, distributed them amongst the party. Well, let's have a quick look and see what else is here. So let's go for a herbalism kit. I've already got that. Torches. Oh, you've got a candle. You've both got torches and you could cast a cantrip. I think on your, oh no, did I not choose that? I don't think I chose that, but never mind. Uh, so that's that. Can't afford any of this. Could afford leather armor, but we don't need it. Ammunition. You don't have a bow or a crossbow. You have a bow and 20 arrows. You've got a crossbow and 20 bolts, so we don't need that either. Okay. So, go to Cardlem and see what's up there. Deputies, a word if you please. So famous already, I love it. You are in there too. Are you a member of the council? I'm Annie Bagmorda, 
Quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We don't have a seat in there, but they all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that compulsory? No. But you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Karen not tell you? No, he pretty much stuck to giving orders. Oh, right. Anyway. We offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown-ups, you know. At least most of us are. Of course you are. Well, good luck. At least she's not another lady or something. The scavengers. Oh, they've seen so much already. The first explorers of the ancient empire. So what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? It's not far, but... Uh, I've had enough talking. Let's go kill some monsters. If there's business to be done, we can't afford not to. Okay, so we will visit the scavengers headquarters, but I'm going to do that in the next part. So put a break in here and pick this up again next time out. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, something different for the channel, obviously. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.